Okay, here we go. We are at Abaddon's Mouth, the second mission in the Lava Islands, Ring of Fire Islands, whatever. Um, this is a really tough mission. Uh, this is my second attempt. I got to the end of this mission. That's why it's kind of cleared out. I got to the very end and failed at the last second. Uh, pretty devastating. But actually, I want to do it. I'm kind of glad I'm doing it a second time because I have an idea. I have a better idea of doing the bonus. So it'll be much smoother, I think. And I wasted time talking to this guy. He... Vizier Kilbron puts this like really strong enchantment on, but it starts draining away immediately. So you kind of need to not rush too much through here, but kind of rush through here. Uh, the build I'm using, of course, is the Energy Surge because I just picked it up last mission. Very, very strong energy depleting aoe nuking spiking build whatever you want to call it or skill and we are also using it with arcane echo so like either using it for double chaos storms or double energy surges it's it's pretty devastating and i brought um mind rack for some extra damage but honestly it's pretty good to bring as just um the spam shattered delusions so it looks like I'm kind of rushing through it. It's kind of because I'm a little more familiar with it now, this mission. I definitely don't want to make mistakes though. You can get overwhelmed very quickly in this mission. But like, look at the damage this build does. It's really insane. All right, let's aggro them, kind of funnel them into this gate here. getting blown up a little bit pull him back out if i can get him to stop right there ah okay not quite not bad i want to get a double chaos form off on him Find and i'm bringing power drain mostly as a energy skill um, we don't really need it right now, but yeah, we have a lot of interrupts on this team, so I'm not going to be looking for interrupts too often, only when I need energy, I think. I don't want to waste, I don't want to waste DPS time, really. Um, I want to clear most of these enemies, so not all of them are necessary to clear, but clear these guys. I just don't want anyone coming up behind me. Look at that, man. I, I just pretty much nuked them all by myself there. A little mind wreck. Okay. So the idea with this mission is uh, we need to clear through these ether seals to fin get to the ending but the bonus is that way and to do the bonus safely you kind of have to clear a, a path for the npc that you that is uh, you have to ask it's an escort bonus basically so we're going to I should have brought some energy or enchantment removal, I think. We're going to clear all of these enemies. It's going to be a little time consuming, but if you want it done right, you got to do it right. Is that how the saying goes? But <laughs> if you want to do it right, you have to do it. If you're going to do it, do it right. That's it. That's what I was trying to say. And so we're going to clear all of these enemies to make sure nothing bad happens to our NPC for the bonus. Otherwise, this is a really fast mission, actually. You just do the mission and not the bonus. The only problem with this build is there's quite a lot of cooldown. 
these guys are just kind of running around like chickens. So after I kind of spend all of my skills, get off all my combo, there's a little bit of like waiting around. But luckily we have this Mind Rack and Shattered Delusions. That's a pretty good like consistent, slightly spammable combo. The main damage we're doing, obviously, is through Arcane Echo, Energy Surge, and Chaos Form, all of which take a little time for cooldowns. The other thing is notice Spectral Agony does more damage to us now, and that's because we're using a Domination Mask that we did not infuse, so... This build comes with some consequences. We did not infuse a domination mask. Only the illusion mask. It'll be okay. If it gets hairy, we can always switch to our, our illusion mask. Take a little stat decrease in replace in place of like being taking less damage from this these guys. Yeah, I was about to equip it there just to see the damage difference, but I missed it. Okay, so we need to save that mob for last because once we destroy that, once we kill that mob, it activates the bonus. So let's just move on. This here. As long as they attack me, it should be fine. Oh, I just... Why did I cast it so out of order? Okay. There we go. It's funny, the, um, so Mind Rack, they lose one energy and take damage every time I target them with a Mesmer spell. And it's funny, is it activates, it does that extra damage even with Shattered Illusions. So Shattered Illusions damage, I guess because the target happens first, if that makes sense. It goes ahead and procs the Mind Rack. Okay, we got the bosses to come out. Oh man, I thought we were gonna get one boss by itself. That would have been good. And you don't want to over aggro here. I think we can take that enemy group easily. Yeah, let's do this. There. We should be able to blow these guys up before those Mursat come back. go that surprised you right okay. and these guys will come back in time for our spells to recharge be like let's let's see that when I equip Hmm. Never mind. Doesn't seem to change the damage. <laughs> okay. We need to take out this Mesmer first. He's actually really tanky because he uses physical resistance and he's got a lot of inspiration spells. But if we spam all of our energy surges, let's move back. 
I didn't want those jade bows to come out, but I forgot we have a warrior enemy. Let's do this. Yeah, that's better. Let's get double chaos storm. Let's do it. Big damage. How's that for a spike? Jeez. And mind rack went off. Do you see that flat 100? That's from mind rack. Okay. A bit of a time consuming quest or mission. Just because you gotta be really careful. probably be using my shield and cane. I switched that bow a long time ago. Always forget this change. All right, here we go. So the, the bonus is to the right. Oh, we got another, got another, what do you call it? Enchantment. Okay, so that's the way to finish the mission, but we, oh, no, <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself, but I am right. That's the way to finish the mission, and then this is the bonus. So left is mission, right is bonus. Bigger. Oops, wrong one. Big guy. Air plus one. Undertaker. Eh. All right, this is where I lost the bonus last attempt. We don't need to worry about it because we haven't even started the bonus yet. So. You can't fail if you don't start it, right? Now we're spamming. Yeah, these Hydra are like upgraded version because they don't just cast Meteor, they cast Meteor Shower. Which is a highly interruptible skill. But when there's multiple Hydras, there's a high chance that they... Hi, there's a hydra chance <laughs> that they're gonna get off meteor shark. I'm sorry, that was uncalled for. Couldn't resist. All right, let's aggro them here. If we don't flag them back, Devona will just run into the lava like a really smart person. I didn't notice that all oh, minion. Right, let's get our health and conditions and hexes all gone. Okay, we'll be okay. Get through the lava. Oof, that, ooh, that burns. <laughs> okay, so there's some riders that pop up here, I think. I think we need to go along the coast, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't get this far. Last time. 
And if you guys are interested in seeing my failures too, I can always post those as well. I just feel like, you know, no one wants to see me fail, but you know, maybe it'll, maybe it'll, maybe it'll show you like what not to do. But yeah, I have the video of my failure. If you're, if you're interested in that, I'll put that, I'll post that as well. Still trying to figure out exactly what to do with video editing and stuff. But my, my mindset lately was that like less is more kind of thing. And then I kind of learned from last episode that actually more is more. So I'm not going to worry too much about that anymore. Alright, we're not dealing with Mursat anymore, so we're kind of just destroying these poor, defenseless, creepy spider things. Goss Dark Web. That sounds like a necromant. Yeah, it is. I want to find a Mesmer boss. There's a pretty cool ability elite skill out here i think that would be pretty nice for a fragility build i think we might check it out next mission if we can cap it here oh he's got a lot of health a lot of gold too Money bags here. All right. Flexus Shadow Hook. That's an elementalist boss. I'm not sure what ability it has. Let's check it out. Even though we want the Mesmer boss. Also nice to go this way, this bonus way, because we can get our level 10. Oh, no, that is a Mesmer boss. Sweet. We can get our... Um, Plus 10% morale boost. That's what I'm trying to think of. It'll help us out in the last stage of the mission. Beaver Dreams. That's the skill we want. Cool. Alright, let's see what this does. Um... Elite's Hex Spell for 10 seconds. Whenever target foe suffers from a new condition, all foes in the area suffer from that condition as well. So it's kind of like an Epidemic. Kind of like the spell Epidemic, but it's a Hex. And if that foe has two or more conditions, that foe is dazed. So... I wonder if that... Yeah, so then that means... Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I've got some idea how to use that. Sweet. We're not going to... I mean, it's going to be just taking up a spot here because we're not illusion. We could put a little bit of illusion in it, actually. <laughs> we can do it. It's two. I mean, actually, it's a 12... We could still use it because it's 12 seconds and we do have some uh, conditions. We might as well cast it here and there and see what happens. That would be really good for a fragility build. We're going to use that next mission. Could we though? It's the last mission. What build should we run for the last mission? I guess preferably the build that works, right? But that seems pretty good. 10 energy, 10, 10 second um, recharge. Alright, I don't really know where I'm going at this point. Oh, that's kind of like a loop. How do I know? I guess I should just clear all these enemies and then just do a crazy backtracking. As long as if I if I can take everyone out, there's no danger of failing, right? Okay, let's cast it. I mean there's not really any point when it's one enemy by itself, I guess. Oh. 
The other thing I'm worried about is I don't want any enemies like popping up. But we're gonna scout everything. Frag behemoth. Take these guys out. Level 28. These guys look like trouble. But, you know what will be good on them is double Hailstorm because they don't move. Yes. There we go. Cast Mind Rack and forget about it. Crag behemoths right next to it. This is going to be some crazy numbers. Are you ready for this? Get our abilities back up. Snick, snike, snick, a hundred tongue. Sounds like a warrior, right? Right. Okay. Yeah, storm. Oh, the elementalist. Chaos form. Energy. Oh, that damage, man. Oh. Like, 500 damage a second. My math's correct. Oh, it's a ranger boss. Ooh, this looks a little scary. It's a worm. Why are we coming here first? be really tough to do if we had to keep a keep an NPC alive. Ooh. That's gotta hurt. Alright. Um do we be scared of these guys or do we just wreck them? Let's just wreck them. Nice. And Adelon, we, we had to kill that for um, infusion before. I wonder if the seer is here as well. Can we can we infuse our mask while we're here? That would be nice. I'll hang on to it. Wow, he hurt. Oh, he's got Barrage. Oh, so you can capture Barrage here if you missed it in that uh, Marcus mission. Healing Barrage. Oh, there's another worm. Wow, the worms look really cool. The glowing mouth like that. Oh, I don't know why I'm casting that by itself. My skill, my skill, um, rotation's all messed up. There we go. Mm. This is where we need to take the bonus. We need to take her here, I think. Is there a seer in this mission? Where is the seer? I guess 
let's drop this here. We'll come. We gotta come back this way, I think. Anyway, for the bonus, so we'll pick it back up. Uh, when we come back with uh, a bonus NPC. All right, I'm definitely gonna speed this up because it's just backtracking. So please forgive me. I'm just gonna check over this way real quick. There's more enemies, so. What is this random boat here? Like, did the Mursat use boats? I mean, I guess they don't fly around everywhere, but. to speed racer mode. Okay, we did a lot of backtracking and it's time to start the bonus. Gonna be smooth sailing on this bonus. Now the issue is we gotta actually complete the mission. That's what I'm worried about. That's a big nuke. Love it every time. I didn't clear that enemy group, but it should be okay. I don't think they're capable of taking her out anyway. Ouch. Okay, so bonus starts. Leah Stone. Thank you for freeing me. I was killed on one of the bloodstones by the white mantle. And my spirit has been trapped for some quite some time. But alas, oh, so they use souls to power those ether seals. Is that what that means? Oh, that's so dark. This dark mode is draining my soul's energy. Or they use, yeah, they use the energy from the souls that they kill on bloodstones. Something like that. I mean, that that makes a lot of sense. That's why everything looks so evil, I guess. Ooh. Does she keep following us if we run far ahead? A lot of times if you run too far ahead in escort missions, they just stop. But maybe she'll just keep going. The part we need to be careful of is this lava. So if the player brings some healing spells, that's probably safer because you can just cast them, save them just for her, Leah Stone. Otherwise, I got to really trust my healer, Menlo and Lena, to recognize that we need to keep her alive. It'd be nice if they kept it in the programming, you know. Come on. This is where like shouts of like speed up from spe like speed running shouts from Nightfall would come in handy. I think they affect ally NPCs.
Or there might be some elementalist spells that you can cast on an ally that speed them up too, maybe. All right, moment of truth. Can she survive the lava? I mean, she's a ghost. You would think that the lava wouldn't affect her, but here it does. Go, go, go. Keep her alive. Oh, okay, she doesn't really affect her. Nice. All right, I was I was scared for no reason. Gotta gotta give it up to the developers again for this level design. Really cool. I mean, they did a good job of like making these desolate areas. It probably saved some of their work. Like they have to prepare less asset, fewer assets and stuff for a new area. They just make it barren and desolate. But it really works. It works for this area. They probably just like recolored a lot of the textures from old, uh, old Ascalon. Colored them gray. Okay. That's cool that the game gives you another opportunity to infuse. At least I'm pretty sure they do. So I want to get this mast infused. Or it would be cool if you can get like double infused. He's moving pretty fast compared to some other escort missions. Like, some of them literally crawl. You just gotta pace yourself. <laughs> Little cheer for her. Let's go. You can do it. Okay, we're two for... Oh, no, we didn't do the bonus of last mission. <laughs> it was like two for two in the Ring of Fire, but never mind. Thank you, my soul is free. I can finally be in peace. He just disappears like that. All right. Good for you. All right, so we're going to go to the Seer. I think Seer is somewhere down here. here area luckily I can drop this essence at any time if I need to for battling and whatnot It would have been cool if they made some new music for this area, though. I'm pretty sure that music is, like, just standard Guild Wars music, isn't it? Needs, like, a heavier, like, metal orchestral p uh, backtracking here. Yep. There's the Ancient Seer. Dark Flame Fang. I don't know if there's any point to picking these items up because, like, collectors. I haven't really seen any collectors. Ooh, that's good. Oh, why did I was supposed to sell it? Actually, bones are worth more than selling it, so. Good job for us there. Making some room. Alright. 
yeah, the, the primary way, way to make money in this game, if you're not going to trade with other players, is just salvage everything and sell the materials. Hey, I brought you another freaky mutated squid, magic squid thingy. There's enough vegetables. Oh, it's the same script as before. Sweet, fully infused. So now the agony won't hurt so bad. Won't be so agonizing. Yeah, it was doing like 16 damage a second, which doesn't sound like that much, but it kind of was. All right, and it looks like this is a back way into the ending. So it's win-win. I'm glad it didn't make us backtrack all the way back. It's about to have to speed speed it up again and go all the way back to where we were, but this looks like easier access back entrance kind of thing. Our back door. They're really this I'm I'm really starting to like this build. It's it's actually very spammable. If you use your if you use your skills uh in the correct order, there's always gonna be something to do. And then of course we'll eventually replace that with something else, but like I don't know what, maybe a stance, like a mantra of physical resistance or something. Alright, let's hang back a little bit. I want to aggro these small groups. The bosses by themselves actually aren't that bad. But whenever we get ganged up on, that's when the trouble happens. Okay. I want to try and get this group also this monk is probably going to get involved yeah because one of his precious jade armors got injured okay no 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 you guys were right i'm trying to attack you i'm a threat yes i'm a threat come here or like he's only doing one damage. Okay, that might have been a little bit overkill. We gotta wait for our cooldowns now. And then can we do it? Can we oh we can. Just the monk by itself? I mean this guy's gonna help. Ah. Oh, Devona's right there. That's the problem. Come back, Devona. Alright, let's just do it. Oh, we need to take the monk out first, right? Oh, I cannot interrupt. Everything's too fast. get its energy gone though oh actually yeah it got down to zero energy all right let's take the weaker monk down come on loser
wasted my arcane echo, didn't I? Can you guys move up a little bit? We need to we need to beat these guys. Are two monks really too much? There. Jeez. Interrupt anything this monk cast, it's just too fast. There we go. Oh, a scroll and a minor rune of vigor. Ah. Never mind. This. This. Salvage this stuff. Alright. We are almost there at the end. All of this. We need to be really careful here. I got scared when I ran this the first time and I just tried to speed through it and actually need to go slowly. It's very rare. It's very rare in this game that you actually do need to go fast. And usually if you have to go fast, it's probably for a bonus and not for the actual main mission. The game generally seems to reward like strat strategy and you know stinking through battles, not just rushing in. And that that's that's kind of good actually. It would, I mean, the game is a strategic RPG, and it would kind of defeat the purpose if you just have to do it as fast as possible without any kind of strategy at all. Like if that was, that's what they. In, ended up encouraging you to do. So I realize it's kind of it's okay to take your time in these scenarios. Nice. Got the interrupt off. All right, I think this is it. One, maybe one more ether seal, something like that. Oh, jade armors, that's it. That's what's standing in my way. Come on, guys. We've been over this. Mesmer, my spells, that's the other thing with having fast casting. I think I have it, yeah, level 10. I can just get so much damage off so quickly. What other class can put, off, put out damage that quickly, you know? Maybe Assassin. But Assassin's damage is usually uh, not AoE. The Warrior and Necromancer. Optimus Caliph, Sarlik the Judge. Those are pretty cool names. Ouch. Oh, I should have interrupted that. Oh, I should have interrupted that. Let's take out the Necromancer first, I think. go one more energy burn nice all right
Okay, this is it. Let's get all of our energy back up. We got full... We got full morale boost. I have some... Birthday cupcakes? I don't want to have to use it. We only have three left. We might use, we might need them for the last mission. All right, Vizier Kilbron, help me one more time, buddy. Door of Komali. I'm gonna be attacking one at a time. Let's go clockwise, starting from this one. Oh, he interrupted me, really? That's annoying. Oh, wow, they heal fast. one every time you kill them these seal guards come out i'm not gonna solo every single one but that first one we needed to solo because i don't want to have to fight two seal or two ether seals at once i don't want devona to run up like a fool oh there she goes anyway Mursat starts to come up behind us. Ah. Accidentally cast Chaos Storm at the last second. They're only level 10, but they're really annoying for some reason. And they can actually overwhelm you, even though they're only level 10. Alright, we're gonna take this one out. Actually, let's go... Yeah, let's go this way. Oh, I keep forgetting that interrupt. I need to get rid of it. Two more sides are coming out. Let's take care of them first. That's the other thing. That enchantment I got from Vizier Kilbron, that made me... Yeah, I'm only taking nine damage from that now. That made me want to uh, rush this. And as a result, I get overwhelmed so quickly. Guys, I think we're getting overwhelmed now, actually. I'm in low. Why are we dying so fast? Oh, they're they're grouped up, that's why. I made that mistake before. If they're grouped up, these like life transfer, these necromancers do tons of damage. Like that. Okay. Let's try and burst down this ether seal now. Yeah, more mesmers or uh, more sock come out. Let's quickly take that out. Come on. So, we'll run back. You gotta do like hit and run tactics. I really, ideally, I shouldn't have. Like, you don't want to have any warriors. It just makes it way harder to fight these battles. Okay. Check out the guards now. They took out a Mursat back here. I wonder if we go back to talk to Vizier, will he give us another boost? Give me another boost. I, the last one ran out. Ah, oh, only one? Really? 
keep. <laughs> All right, we got three more seals to take out. And these are called Mursak Guardians now. They're not. Are they always that name? I guess they're always called that. I wasted that. Let's take out this one. Okay, run. Run back, run back, run back. Who left? Take out these guys now. We pretty much got this. It's a matter of time. <laughs> yeah, like these level 10 field cards, they're really tanky. What are we getting burned from? All the lava burns us there? Two more. <laughs> One seal left. I got these guards. Another Mesmer coming. Take out the last Mesmer. And then the last seal. And we're done. And this is the end of the Mursat, I think. I think this is the last nail in the coffin. Let's take out the last seal. Very good. Very good, everybody. Oh, cool. Oh, our good friend, Vizier Kilbron. The lawful good necromancer from Krita. Oh, <laughs> what? He's bad. <laughs> it's like a little too obvious, right? I feel like his voice is a little strange. It was perfect for his other character skin, but for the... Oh. That's it? Okay. This is more of a formality of finishing it there. All right, Abaddon's mouth, the door of Kumali is open. Dang. This dude's bad. Alright.
Hell's Precipice. Oh, this is where we finished the last mission. So we're at Hell's Precipice now. The final mission of Prophecies. Very cool. If you've made it this far, I'm so proud of you for sticking with it. Um, stick with me a little bit longer. We're going to do this mission. And then I got some ideas what I want to do after we finish Prophecies. I think I want to go back to Southern Shiver Peaks. There's still some exploration to do on this side. Namely the... What's it called? Soros Furnace. Um, but yeah, if you, ever, if you have any ideas about what I should do after this, I do want to go to uh, Factions, but I'm not sure exactly how I want to do that yet, but... Yeah, send me some, send, leave some comments. If you want to see me uh, just take my Mesmer over to Factions, that sounds cool. If, I, if you'd rather see me roll a whole new character for Factions, that's also cool. Um, we got a few more videos left in Prophecies. We got this mission, and then I want to do a kind of post-campaign Soros Furnace tour. But anyway, until next time... This was a good one. This was a good episode. So I'll see you next time, okay? Peace.